Hello everyone. I have some enamel pins to show you today. These are um, falcon themed enamel pins. They are all from the Trails series. The merchandise was uh, licensed to a company in the UK called Pinbox and I ordered um, some of their items. They, they have a good selection. I picked a, a few that appealed to me. I'm also wearing their lovely t-shirt. As you can see, a Trails t-shirt and uh, a second one over here. I'll wear that on another occasion. So I just wanted to uh, quickly show you the pins uh, because they are uh, very well made, very nice and uh, as I said they're very specifically trails uh, items. Uh, they're nicely presented in these uh, little boxes and on the reverse side, on the bottom side of the box you can see that it says Nihon Falcom licensed. So we're starting out here with the East Origin series and I'll just open up the box so you can admire the pin featuring the character called the Claw. And we'll move on uh, to the second one, and that is uh, Unica. Again, the back of the box has a nice little illustration. And I'll open up the box for you. She looks absolutely adorable, don't you think? And here we have the twin goddesses. And again, a close up of the pin itself. All the artwork on the pins is very delicately done. And as you can imagine, that is quite difficult to do when you're working with enamel, which is the reason why you will notice a lot of enamel pins have quite sort of thick outlines around the, um, the, the characters, but these are all very uh, finely etched. And this is the, um, the last one I got from, the, uh, from East Origin. And this is Hugo. They're all wonderful characters in East Origin and of course you play through the game as each character if you so choose. Now we come to a particular favourite of mine and that is of course Estelle from the Trails in the Sky series. A very nice illustration on the back. And as you can see on the box, uh, this is taken from Trails in the Sky SC, so second chapter. I'll just take the lid off. And there you have Estelle. And of course, where would we be without Joshua? Joshua Bright. And those two together make a really lovely set of pins.
And this particular badge, uh, the Triple S one, is from a game I have actually not played yet. Uh, this is from the uh, Crossbell arc, which you may have heard about. Um, this one is Trails from Zero. And we recently had the good news, of course, that uh, we're actually finally going to get the Crossbell arc, the two games here in the West, uh, with a localization that uh, the Geofront people have already worked on a lot, um, which is available as a fan translation. Uh, but I've waited so long, I'll wait now for the final um, commercial release. And this pair of characters you see there, that's Tio and Mishi, also from the Crossbell arc, from the other game, the Trails to Azure. And have a look at that. Isn't that super cute? Are you pleased, Mishi? I bet he is. So I have two pins for the Crossbell arc in anticipation of finally being able to play the games. Oh, I didn't show you the reverse side. Look at that. That's another very, very endearing illustration. Oh yes, there's also a nice one on the back of the Triple S badge. So that's definitely whetting my appetite. And the final badge is from Trails of Cold Steel, which most of you will of course know. reverse illustration and it's the Thor's Academy crest. Here they are. All the pins from pin box. They've done a nice job. I'm very pleased with them. And of course it's a lovely way uh, to present them in a box like that. It's, uh, you can display them if you want in the box or indeed use the pen. So that was just a, a quick showing, show and tell, of these lovely trails pens. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye bye. A um, Thor's Amatic. <laughs>